The John Rylands Papyrus, officially P52, is housed at the University of Manchester in England. Apart from the Great Bibles, which are from the 300s and 400s, what is the oldest of the 5,000 or so other Greek manuscripts we have of the New Testament? Well, with the John Rylands Papyrus, this is the very oldest of all these manuscripts, dating from around 125 to 150. But isn't it ironic that the very first, the oldest fragment that we have should be from the Gospel, which is generally regarded as being the last to have been written? We've got a very short gap, therefore, between when John is writ written down, probably in Ephesus, and this fragment which comes to light. And so it is, just imagine for a moment that we are in the presence of the scribe writing out this copy of John's Gospel around 125. What has he got next to him? Is it John's Gospel? Has this person travelled to Ephesus to make his own copy? Or does he have next to him a copy of what John originally wrote or dictated? Either way, we're very close in time to an eyewitness. Somebody who was present at the Last Supper. Someone who ran to the tomb. Someone who actually handed out the bread to the 5,000. And for the sceptic, you have to ask, how sure am I that these events did not really take place just as they're recorded in this gospel.